Do you want to see what I put in my kids' stockings this year? Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you another Vlogmas video. So today is Vlogmas day number five, and I am here to show you what I got my kids in their stockings this year. So I have three kiddos, Jacob, who is 14, Mason, who's gonna be five in just a couple of days, and then Maya, who is two and a half. So they definitely have different personalities, but they still like to do things the same. So I have a wide variety of things to show you guys of what I picked them up. So first I'm gonna show you what stockings they have and then I'm gonna take you up into my bedroom. We gotta be super quiet because the kids are up so I don't want them to hear. So I'll take you upstairs into my room, we'll shut the door and then I'll show you guys what I got them this year for their stockings. Okay guys, so this is my little corner mantle in my house. It's a little faux fireplace. It does generate heat. I think I got this thing on at Finger Hut like a really long time ago, probably close to like eight years ago or something. But I really love it because I always feel like a set of stockings should be hung by the fireplace. But of course in this house we don't have one. So this is always my favorite time of year to decorate and play with this little faux fireplace area. It actually has a spot that folds out so you can slide it into a corner which is why I specifically got this one and I love these stockings these stockings are from personal creations they have so many different ones and as our family grew I was able to go back and order them they're very heavily quilted and the names are stitched so we have daddy who is a Santa Claus and mommy who is Mrs. Claus and then Jacob is a snowman and what I love about these is that they're a little 3D so you can actually see you can hold his skis you can flick his little snowman nose and touch his scarf and stuff so I love that and then we have a Mason who is the polar bear and then a Maya and she has the owl one and then we have two pups Dorothy and Ruby let me get out of the light and both of theirs are identical they're just the dog ones um, and they do have cat ones if you're interested and then there is Ruby's so I do have different holders I've picked up different holders all throughout the year so we don't really have an assigned one we just put them out and hang the stockings up but I'll show you the rest of that stuff during the home tour but for now let me sneak upstairs and show you guys what I got my three littles in their stockings okay guys so here's just a quick overview of what I got the kiddos for their stockings Jacob, Mason, and Amaya. I thought it was best suited just to kind of lay everything out and then we'll go over it as opposed to showing each individual item. I try and stay under $100 for stockings. Now that doesn't include the dogs, Paul or Daryl, that's specifically for the kids. And this year I actually stayed way under budget and that's because I was picking stuff up from the Dollar Tree all year round. Now you'll notice that I didn't really do a lot of candy or any kind of sweet stuff stuff except for Jacob at 14 he's a little hard he's actually the only child that got a gift card and it's just because there isn't really much I feel that I could get for him and my mom does a stocking for the three kids as well so I don't want to duplicate too much so she usually does a lot of like the body washes and new toothbrushes and all that stuff that's what she's done since I'm little so that's still what she does and I did a little bit more of like the fun cutesy stuff because I'm in the Dollar Tree so often so we will start with Jake and then I will show you these gift bags in the back now the gift bags in the back are what I've been storing their stuff in until I put it in their stockings now we do our Christmas with us and Santa when we get home from my mom's because we leave before the holidays so the kids still think that Santa comes here on Christmas night and leaves their presents for them and they get their stuff from us when we get home so I usually leave this stuff in a bag and Daryl will fill the stockings for me before I get home 
Now in my closet, I've been storing them in these bags, but then I'm gonna transfer it over to a plastic bag before I leave, because in these bags are going to be the gift bags that I'm going to set on the seats for the kids for their car ride. Now I haven't picked up the snacks or anything for them yet because we're not going to leave for another, you know, three weeks or so. So um, I picked up just a movie for them right now and the kids have like crayons and a coloring book so I will fill this in with their favorite drink and snacks and I will leave it on each one of their seats in the car when we go to leave and they'll have a little gift bag with you know things to do a movie to watch that kind of thing and then here's what I got for Jake if I didn't pick it up at the dollar store I'll tell you where I got it most of the stuff I just picked up because when I was sorting everything I realized I hadn't really picked up much for Jake because again he's a little hard on what I can put in there he loves these little perfect size mug cake things and these are the s'more cakes that I got from the Dollar Tree. I had picked up two packages for him and put them aside for his stocking. And then these are just a few things I just picked up from Walmart. So this is the Dove Men's Care Fresh and Clean Shampoo and Conditioner. I did pick him up a Phoenix Scent Small Travel Size Axe Deodorant. I picked up the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub um, Face Wash for him. Again, he's starting to have like teenage acne and things like that. I did pick up these Skippy Peanut Butter Bright Bites and a Pretzel. He loves anything peanut butter. I didn't pick up the gift card yet because I pick up gift cards right towards the end, but I put this box in here as a reminder that I need to pick up a gift card for Jacob, and because he got less than the kiddos, I'm going to get him a $10 iTunes card and stick it in here, and that will go in his stocking, and then that will even everything out. Uh, I did get a three pack of these little crispy Kringles. Um, so this is basically like a Nestle's Crunch and it's a San foil Santa. And I divided it up and each kid got one. Jacob got a candy cane with the Reese's peanut butter cups. And he got the Cookies and Cream Snowman. This is his favorite flavor of candy. Again, he's really the only one besides the uh, Santa that got candy. This is the slime that he really likes. It's the mix and play slime. So you get a tub of slime and then the things to mix into it. And it's like really good for, you know, those with sensory or like who like to feel the little bead stuff inside of there. My kids really love slime. And so that was $3.98 at Walmart. So I got that for him. So this is a squishy goo poo. And it's basically like a poop stress ball. So I think Jake will really like that. That. I got him one of these just because I got the kids one and I thought it would be fun for him to do. We got these from the Dollar Tree way back. It's the Crayola Color Alive 2.0. I got him the zombie ones and you color it and then you scan it with like a tablet or an iPad or something and then it interacts. So I got him that to do with the kids and then I also got him a thing of wet wipes for the bathroom because for a 14 year old child he is obsessed with having wet wipes for when he goes to the bathroom. So that's what I got for my 14 year old Jacob and then again I will fill his gift bag with the things that he likes to eat on the way and I'll probably show what's in that in a vlog for where we're leaving home. This is Mason's pile. Uh, Mason and Maya are pretty close in piles as far as similar things just structured more towards boy and girl with some slight variations. So again, here's Mason's gift bag and he has his movie and then he has one of those little like crayon and coloring pad things from the Dollar Tree and Mickey Mouse. Again, I'll show that in the vlog for when we're leaving home. And then these are the items that I got him. So I just recently found these blind bags. My kids are obsessed with blind bags, so you're going to see a theme, but that's awesome because it's things that they love and they were only a dollar and they're gonna fill their stockings with things that they will actually enjoy unboxing. So I got the Animal Crossing one. There's like eight different backyard buddies to collect. So I got him one of those. And then I also got the Disney Crossroads. It's like little keychains. And this is series one and there's 12 different ones to collect in those. 
I got him some of the mix and, ply, mix and play slime as well. And this is Monster, so it has little googly eyes to put in the slime. I think that is so super cute. Uh, they had these little sum sums at the Dollar Tree, so each of the kids got two of them. So Mason got Goofy and Olaf. And then this is his color alive. So he got the Avengers and it's the same thing where you color scan and interact. So I think the kids will have fun with that. I did get him a new winter hat and gloves. He needed it. So I got the emoji hat with the matching gloves. Again, I got those from a Dollar Tree and then I got him a second pair of gloves and it's the pizza kind. I did not find a hat to match the pizza. He got a play pack from a Dollar Tree and dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs. These are the little bonbon things. This is again like a blind bag. My kids love these, but I can barely find them very often. So I picked him up one with the green string on it. This is something I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. So it says barf ooze ball. And it's like something that you squeeze and then the little green thing pops out of his mouth. It looks like barf. I don't know, my kids are gross and they're boys and they're gonna have such a kick out of that. Here is a Mason's little Santa Kringle. Then he got a gemstone excavation kit. I know he's gonna love this. This was also from the Dollar Tree. So inside it says there's a hidden pirate treasure. So he's going to love that. I got him a blue raspberry air hot airhead bath bomb that was from the DT. Two of these Despicable Me blind bags and they're actually like Legos. So you build them and construct them to find out who you have. So he's going to love that. I just hauled these in my last Dollar Tree haul and these are the little Nickelodeon figures. He's just kind of getting into SpongeBob. So I got him a SpongeBob and Patrick. And then last but not least, I got him this little Ryan's World Squishy, which I picked up from, from Walmart for $3.98. And that is what I got Mason. That completes his stocking. So here's what I got Maya. And again, here's her little bag and she has a frozen carry activity pad and then her movie. And then I will fill that with snacks for her for the car. And then Maya got some mix and play slime, but she got the unicorn one. So I think she's totally gonna love that. The kids again, love all of their slime. That'll be something they can do together. She loves Vampirina, so I got her a Vampirina hairbrush. I think that's super cute. Like, I love having a girl. I've had nothing but boys, so it's fun to put stuff like that in the stocking. She also got one of these Disney Crossroad Hangers blind bag, as well as the Nintendo's Animal Crossing. Here are her little sum sums. So she got Elsa, and she got Rapunzel. I think those are so cute. She got the girl superheroes for the Crayola Color Alive, and she's been really into coloring lately. And it even comes with the crayons and everything, so I think that's perfect. The kids are going to love that. I couldn't find a hat for baby girl, so she only got gloves. But I got her the unicorn one and the one with the donuts on it. We're going to New York, and we always seem to get hit with snow while we're there. So I got those to bring with us just in case. She got a play pack as well, and this is the PJ Masks one. We always get these from a Dollar Tree, and they're just perfect for throwing in my bag. The kids are never bored when we go somewhere because I always have one of these, and it's always got crayons and stickers and something to do, so I highly recommend those. Here's some more blind bags. So when I got those Despicable Me ones, I found a My Little Pony one, so that was perfect. Mason got two Despicable Me, and then she got two of these little My Little Pony ones, and they come with a trading card as well so she's going to love that then I got her two of these season four Shopkins so it comes with one Shopkin inside and some trading cards as well so I think she's gonna love that like I said my kids love blind bags she loves her Vampirina so I got her the 50 piece sticker activity nail stickers in the Vampirina kind I cannot wait to do my girls nails again I've only had boys so this is super exciting I only found three of those bonbons, and since there was an uneven number, Mason got the one with the green, and Maya got the one with the pink strings on the end. I also found these little Shopkins one time at the Dollar Tree, so I picked up every color that I found, a pink, a purple, and a teal, so I got her each of one of those. 
Here is the excavation kit that I got her. Again, same as Mason with the Discover the Hidden Pirate Treasure. Here is her little Santa Kringle. She got the Princess Bath Bomb in Strawberry. And then she did get another like piece of candy thing, but I probably won't let her eat this. It was just too pretty not to buy it. But this is the decorative cookie lollipops that the Dollar Tree had. And this one is in the unicorn. And I absolutely love that. I think that is so super cute. So that is it, guys. That's what I did for my kiddos. And I think I actually did pretty good. And I think that all of my shopping at the DT paid off because I went through my bins and pulled all this stuff out and really had to buy very little to fill in. So I'm super excited with how this all came out. And I know the kids are going to love it. And it's going to be an awesome Christmas. All right, guys, so that's it for this Vlogmas video. I hope you enjoyed what I got my kids in their stockings. And if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I have so many fun things coming up for the rest of Vlogmas and just for Christmas in general. This is my favorite time of year and my family and I just love to share. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys what else that we have on the agenda, especially this week. We have great recipes coming up. And we also have our home decor tour, which I've really enjoyed decorating this year. Everything just came out really, really good. And this year, I'm actually going to get my home decor tour out early as opposed to what I did last year. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.